Welcome back, folks, to a brand new how to build. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to build Fusion from BattleBots 2020. Yes, this is my replica of Fusion. I am very happy with this thing. Maybe not my best model. I think I like my deadlift quite a bit more. My Terra Force is probably one of my favorite models, but it's definitely one of my favorite models. Very happy with this thing a lot. Um, so yeah, I got the spinner, which actually does work. Um, the drum, which could technically work, but I wasn't bothered to actually make it work. It's just shoved in there, and then uh, yeah, and then I've got the nice little wedgelets, and yeah, it's looking really. It looks really good, in my opinion. So that is. So this is fusion. So um, let's go into what you're going to need to actually build this robot to build this replica. So to build this replica, you're going to need the following. You're going to need the instructions. Which aren't, which look a bit complex. They aren't all that complex except for this thing. This thing is weird. Um, the spinner, I realize, I don't really know how to get the circle um, exactly in the center. Try to kind of explain it, but yeah, you're going to see a lot of lines going across. You're just going to have to just really pay attention to the lines to figure out what the spinner's exact measurements are. But yeah, I was going to need a black marker pen, a red marker or pen, a yellow marker pen, a green marker pen, a compass. A ruler, a pencil, um, a pair of scissors, some tape, a pencil sharpener, because you're going to need a lot of pencil, um, a cardboard, or, um, or card, whatever you want to use, duct tape, possibly, if you're using card especially, um, what else do you need? Oh, um, a lollipop stick for the spinners. You're going to need lollipop sticks for the spinners. Um, I believe that's actually it. Which, I mean, not actually all that many materials. So, yeah, that's what you're going to need about Fusion. Um, and from there, you're just going to copy your instructions onto whatever material you're using. Um, from there, you're going to color those in. Tape over the top. Cut it out. Or duct tape over the bottom, then cut it out if you're using card. And let's get on to the next step. Okay, so after cutting everything out, we're going to start with the weapon. So, let's take a look at the weapon. So, you're going to have your very nice long strips. So, take your strips, and you're just going to surround um, these little kind of circular with the edges. Those things with the strips, like so. And you're going to put two on each side, and then you have four. And then you're going to take, um, it's going to be the thickest um, strip. No, let's take a strip. It's going to be 1.5 centimeters by, I'm not exactly sure the length it should be the only one only panel that is 1.5 centimeters though so it should be fairly easy to find i believe yeah i'm pretty sure it's the only 1.5 centimeter panel so that should be what makes it um unique and you'll be able to find it and you'll just um turn it into a nice little roll and then you're going to tape it onto the inside i just do like four attachments on each side to get it into the nice ni into this nice little weapon so do that Okay, next up we're going to start by, uh, we're going to start putting the robot together. So first you're going to want to create some holes, which are going to line up for the little, um, for the spinner. Um, you're also going to want to create some holes on the inside over here. But, uh, if you're wondering, uh, so I need to explain how to do this. So, you have the 3 by 3 centimeter panel, which is going to go through the middle. The 2 by 3 centimeter panel, which are going to go on each side. Those ones should have holes, or if you want, you can just have this be... Just like a push and shove one that just stays in there so that it can like potentially have a bit of damage during a match. Though I, I don't know. I'm going to do it like that because I'm too, a bit too lazy to go correct myself after forgetting to put in the holes. But yeah, do that. And then you're also going to attach, um, you're then going to attach the inside panel. So this one's I believe is 1. What's it? It's 1.25 by 3 centimeters. This one's going to go from here to here. This one is another, uh, I think this one is like 1.375 by 3. This, these ones are going to go down on the, like, and then uh, these areas. And then you're going to have your fronts, which are going to be very distinguishable with the little curves and the little angles. You're going to have these, and you're just going to attach them on. And now you're going to put in your weapon, like so. Let me just do that. I'm going to get it at an angle I like, and I'm liking how it looks right there, so I'm going to keep it like that. And there we go. Fusion has its drum spinner looking really good so far. Very happy with that. So now, let's take the side panels and attach them on. So, take your side panels, and you're just going to uh, tape them on here. I just bend them here. Um, so do that. Uh, maybe color the, like, backs of this. I don't know if you want to do You don't have to do the inside, but, like, do the outside at least. 
Um, like, yeah, clean it up a bit, because you don't want to have too much cardboard sticking out already. It's going to have quite a bit. But yeah, do that on both sides, just attaching these side panels on. Do that. Sorry about a bit, a bit of background noise, folks, but uh, let's take a look at the next part of the of what you're going to do. So, of course, after you attach the parts onto the side, you're then going to take a look at attaching the parts on the inside. So this is the fairly long strip. I believe it's 8.25 centimeters by 3 centimeters. This one you're going to attach uh, with the 3 centimeter center. You're going to attach here, here. So again, sorry about the background noise. And then you're just going to attach it to the sides like so. It's important that you measure it correctly so that uh, when you bring it out to the side, it's nice and even. Otherwise, you're going to have to cut off a few bits like I did. Uh, and then you're just going to tape a bit on the inside here as well. And so there you go. Overall, I think it's looking really good and it's taking the shape of fusion now. So uh, let's take a look at what else you're going to have to do now. So I think the next step is going to be... Um, I'm trying to think here. Uh, let's make the uh, weapon. Oh, not the weapon, sorry. These little parts. So these parts are going to go across the back and around, creating kind of that little, um, like the thing that surrounds the weapon a bit. Hopefully that kind of makes sense, but you're just going to just, like, tear off the backs and then just, like, put them around the thing to, uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to say that. But yeah, I'll show you in a minute what that looks like, but hopefully you're kind of getting the idea. Okay, folks, so here's what I was talking about. So, as you can see, this just kind of wraps around the back. Um, mine's not too well made here. That's kind of messed up. My bad. Um, that part messed up there. But uh, other than that, it looks pretty good so far. So now, let's make the weapon. So, um, for the weapon, you're going to take your kind of triangular panels. And you're going to take that one very thin, long strip. And you're just going to wrap it around. And you're going to want to create some holes like I did, like so. Um, the holes in here, um, they are... Um, the measurements to create the holes are on the instructions as well as where the circle is located. So um, then take your lolly stick. I would recommend painting it black. Uh, I'm not going to do the inside just because I'm running out of black marker. But uh, yeah, you can do like some black marker just to paint this if you want. Um, you're also going to want to take your three kind of like larger circles. Um, two of them are going to get this um, much uh, smaller thin strip which is going to wrap around the thing. And this is kind of like your motor, I believe it's the motor of the weapon. And, uh, yeah, um, yeah, do that. Okay, so once you've made all of these panels, then take your lolly stick. You're going to uh, insert it through the bottom. You're then going to, um, attach this on the bottom. Then the weapon goes above this, and then this goes here, and then it goes right through the top. And then cut it so that's a nice, um, that's the right shape, so that you get, so that's not too tall, so do that. Okay, so I've attached the weapon on, it's looking really good so far, so uh, now we're going to make the wheels, and then we're going to make the wedgelets, so let's start with the wheels, so you're going to have um, four thinner strips, um, not as thin as these ones, which I used for the weapon, which this one was 0.75 centimeters, and this one was 0.5 centimeters thick um these ones are going to be i believe 1.5 centimeters thick and you're just going to shove them in so you're going to have one on the bottom another one on the bottom just do one on each side like so and you're just going to have them inserted like so so that you have all your wheels for fusion. And now this thing is looking really complete. I think we just need to add the wedgelets. So let's get into what you're going to need to do to make the wedgelets. Okay, so to create the wedgelets, you're going to take... So you are going to have 12 of these very thin little um, angled strips. And then you're going to have some very like... You're going to have 6 of these um, nice uh, 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 rectangular strips. And you're just going to bend them across the top. And then just attach them onto the actual robot. Make sure that they're nice and flush to the ground. And you'll get something that looks like this. So overall, I am very happy with this robot. With this replica. So it looks pretty good. I think there are a few problems with it. Um, obviously, I don't really have enough black markers. Really, I don't really want to color that in since I still have a few more robots on my how to build list that use black marker. Um, I wish I, for I wish I attached this. Um, I didn't really want to make it to as small of a scale to actually like, add the little insert parts inside. Because I'm just not very good with the small of a scale. Though if I could have, I definitely would have attached and done something better with that. Um, these kind of pop out quite easily. Um, but that's basically it. I'm very happy with this replica of Fusion. So, uh, yeah.
Thank you for watching and have a great day.